video is a bit late but one of my subscribers did ask me to show how to make baby food at home um poppy is coming up to one year old now so she doesn't have purees and things like that anymore really the only thing that she does have as a puree is um i make fruit puree to put in with a porridge and things like that for her to have as cereal so the only thing i have in at the moment is some apples i also wanted to mention that i will be using the von chef um baby steamer and blender you don't need one of these <laughs> i think it was one of those kind of impulse boys that i bought it's very useful don't get me wrong but you can do the same thing with a saucepan a steaming basket you don't even need a steaming basket in fairness you can just use a saucepan with a small amount of water and a hand blender or you could mash it up with a fork that kind of thing if you are going to get one of these von chef um, baby steamers i will leave the link below where i got mine from but i will quickly mention if you are to do any fruit such as i think i did blueberries last in this it does stain um not an issue for me as i have had my use out of it and i won't be using it for much longer but yeah just keep in mind that it does stain so on to how i actually prepare the first thing that i do is give the stalks a little twist until they snap off i peel each apple again you don't have to peel them but i always have done um so it's it's just kind of a habit with me even eating apples as a child i used to sit on my granddad's lap and he'd peel them first he used to carry a little knife in his pocket and if we ever shared an apple he'd peel it first but yeah you don't have to peel them but i'm just going to go ahead okay so then if you have a knife by all means you can use a knife but i have this little apple wedger and it's also good for potatoes as well so i just pop that over the top of the apple press down and discard that bit and i just do that to all three then just because i am using my steaming machine it says to cut them into really small squares so i just go over each one and cut it into three again if you were using a saucepan or a larger steamer that kind of thing you wouldn't have to cut them up this small you could just leave them like this and i will mention today i am using granny smith no golden delicious sorry because that's all i have in at the moment what i normally do is I'll go to my local market or supermarket and I will pick up a variety of apples. So I will get one Pink Lady, one Braeburn, one Royal Gala, um, a Granny Smith and a Golden Delicious, that kind of thing. And I basically cut them all up together and make um, an apple cocktail, call it, so that it doesn't just taste of one variety of apple. And Poppy seems to enjoy it a hell of a lot more when there is a fair few varieties but she enjoys this just as much so i'm just going to carry on cutting all these up so then once you have all of your apples chopped up come over to your von chef as i said this isn't dirty it's just stained but inside of here there is a max fill line so you put the water up until that line you put the lid back on so the water in there is what's used to steam it comes through at the side here so then you just load in your apple chunks try not to overfill it because then it doesn't cook as even so then you place your lid on and then there's a timer switch it on at the wall there's a timer down here i set that to the full time which is 30 minutes and as i says the water inside of there will come through and steam the apples and there's also a bar in the center which warms them so we'll check on this in 30 minutes while that's in there i'll just mention how i 
store these purees so you'll need a spatula or a spoon anything to get it out basically and the other four of these are actually in the freezer at the moment with a different fruit in but i have four little pots the, i think these are the little angel ones from asda you can pick these up anywhere these are just the lids so what i do is fill each block and put the lid on and this can stand up then in your fridge or your freezer i also keep a jug out because once this is finished cooking this will be full of liquid and I, t I always tip the liquid into a jug just in case well not so much now but when i'd first started weaning just in case it was too thick i could use some of the liquid then because it, it was kind of like apple juice it's just water and apple that's mixed in together while it's cooked i'd keep the liquid so that i could put it back in and blend it together to make it a bit smoother so yep yeah, that's how i store my baby food Okay, so now it's done. As I said before, there's all this liquid at the bottom. The apples are cooked. So now I'm just going to lift this jug off and there's a small hole just here. So pop this down, bring the jug over and I'm just going to use that to, to tip out that liquid. Again, give it a little shake just to make sure you got most of it out. After getting rid of the liquid which is inside of this jug, the apples are just in there on their own now with no liquid at all. So I've returned it back onto here so that I can blend it. <laughs> turn it off poppy has her food on the more chunky side now so i only literally blitz it just like that but if you were just starting out on weaning you'd set it to blend and you could leave it to blend for a minute maybe if not longer to make sure it's all completely pureed but yeah i'll just kind of i just kind of blitz it and then if you open the lid up you will see that you have apple puree this is red hot ouch if I move this out of the way you can see that you have lovely apple puree so I'm just going to put this part into the sink and then just use your spatula I don't think they'll actually be enough for four portions. Basically, I just if we start at the back one. Like I said, this is actually quite lumpy, um, because of Poppy's age. She doesn't really have puree puree anymore, with no bits at all. She has little bits in. So I'm just going to fill all of these up. Well, I don't think I've actually got enough to do all four so it might just be two so try and fill them as best as I can yeah might as well just do the two and fill them right up to the So yeah, I just give these a little tap just to level them out. There is only, I did only make enough for two. But I just put the lids on.
use my hands and what I'll do is I wait for these to cool down completely I will put one in the fridge that Poppy can have tomorrow morning and the other one can go in the freezer so when Poppy first started weaning um, I actually made her baby food up in ice cube trays and I do exactly the same thing I've just done with different fruits, vegetables. I used to make it up in ice cube trays and then I'd put some either a food bag around it or some cling film and put that in the freezer and when they were completely frozen I'd tip them into a food bag so that I could reuse the ice cube tray that kind of thing like say if we were going to have the wheat flakes I'd use four spoonfuls of this make it up with the milk as directed on the back of the pack then I'd also put in one of the cubes of fruit puree and when she was first starting off with weaning again I had the it was either the baby rice first spoonfuls or it was the I think it's called sunny start first porridge I'm not sure it, it was still the Cohen Gate brand um, like banana porridge and I'd obviously make fruit purees the same way but in an ice cube tray so I'd put a small amount I think it was two spoons of porridge made up with the milk as directed and then I used to put two spoons two spoons then I used to put two cubes um ice cube sized cubes can't get my words out <laughs> um with that as well um i do store them in the freezer as i said i will be using one in the morning hence why i'll be keeping one out but the other one will go into the freezer and i just label what it is with a little sticky note and i use it within a month i think you've got up to two months to use frozen baby purees but i always try and use mine within a month and to be honest we use them within a fortnight that kind of thing so yeah i hope this video has been slightly helpful as i said I'm, I'm a bit stuck on what i can actually show because poppy is fully weaned she, she's not on her first foods that kind of thing but sweet potato was always a winner so was carrots cauliflower she didn't like so much nor broccoli she liked peas um oh god i can't remember things banana she loved banana banana and baby rice together mashed up was probably the fastest thing to make and the most enjoyable and rusk as well but we tried not to give a rusk too often because i'd rather her have natural sugar than sugars from a packet so yeah i'm rambling now but i'm just doing it to try and help people so i'm sorry but yeah one's going in the freezer one's going in the fridge for in the morning and i will put it in the morning poppy will have some of these wheat flakes um with some of this as well so yeah thank you very much for watching